Hello everyone and welcome back to West DW Sports and today I'm going to be reviewing the EFL weekend from March 20th because that was the only day that games were played but still we'll get straight into it anyway. Yes I know this is a little bit late I'm just starting to put out more and more YouTube videos now. So yes we'll go straight into it anyway. We start with the championship on Saturday March the 20th of course. Brentford won, Nottingham Forest won. Two points dropped for Brentford this one, uh, playing a Forest team who haven't really got a lot to fight for this season. I mean, they've got a very slim chance of going down, but I, I doubt they will, to be, fa to be fair. I think they'll have enough under Chris Hewton. But yeah, Brentford, though, I mean, they are starting to show signs that they are starting to fade off a little bit again. It is this time of year for Brentford where they do usually start to struggle. But yeah, a one-all draw, it was a two points drop definitely for Brentford, especially with them being the home team. But yeah, disappointing result in my opinion for Brentford this one, and they certainly need to get over this after the international break. Stoke City won, Derby County nil. Um, yeah, Stoke, good result for him in the end, but Derby have hit a really poor run of form under Wayne Rooney all of a sudden, I think. Rooney made a good start, a bit of a new manager bounce there perhaps, but it's not really gone too right for him since. And a 1-0 win, it was a poor game to be honest with you this one, it really wasn't great. But Stoke edged it by a goal to nil. Stoke have done okay, they've done much better than the last couple of seasons. Whether they'll go up under Michael O'Neill is a different question, I don't think they will. But um, yeah, good result though this for Stoke, an edgy 1-0, fair play to them. Um, Bristol City nil, Rotherham United 2, one of the biggest results of the weekend and of Rotherham's season. Uh, yeah, uh, obviously Bristol City kind of haven't really got anything to fight for, either they're kind of in the mid-table. Limbo under Nigel Pearson, I think they're a team more for next season. Rotherham, though, need the wins. They have about three or four games in hand on Birmingham, who are just above them, and the other teams like Derby and uh, other teams around them as well. But yeah, uh, this is a huge win, though, a 2-0 win here away to Bristol City. They played really well, they wanted it more, and I think that is why they got the win. Um Coventry City nil, Wickham Wanderers nil. Another team in the relegation battle is thoroughly Coventry City and this is a big missed opportunity for them. With all due respect to Wickham, I do think they're going to go down but you know this could have been a chance for them as well if they'd won at Coventry, well at St Andrews, technically Birmingham's ground but still, um, it would have been a very good result but and, and they could have given them a slim chance of survival but this is a missed opportunity for both teams. Both teams went at it, but there was a, a big lack of quality on show, really, in the end. And Coventry haven't really had that a lot this season. They've been very good, but they just didn't click going forward here. And a nil-nil draw It's a disappointing result for both teams, to be honest. Um, Preston North End nil, Luton Town won. This game's about the end for Alex Neal. That's how late this video's going out. But yeah, um, I don't really know what to say about this. Alex Neal's been at Preston for a while. He's done a good job, all things considered. He got them close to the playoffs last season. If COVID didn't happen, I do generally think they could have got there, but um, we'll never know that, of course. And this season, though, it hasn't been great. But look, they've barely signed anyone, Preston. It's understandable why they're not doing so well. And yeah, um, a 1-0 defeat. Luton have had a great season. Nathan Jones is an outside shout for manager of the year, in my opinion, with the job he's done. I don't think he'll get it, of course, but... To get Luton into a stable mid-table position like he has is very impressive. But yeah, a 1-0 win here for Luton and Preston. Alex Neal is now no longer the manager. Interesting to see where the Lily Whites go from here. Watford 3, Birmingham City 0. Watford completely blew Birmingham out of the water in this one. Lee Bowyer's first defeat as Birmingham manager. It's always going to be tough. Lee Bowyer's not going to come in and wave a magic wand, albeit he did get that very good 2-1 win over Reading for them. They're still in very much embroiled in the relegation battle, Birmingham. This could be the year they go down. Um, yeah, Watford were fantastic, though. 3-0 win. They're on great form right now, Watford. I think this is their sixth win in a row, I believe. Um, yeah, they're really looking good. Fifth game in a row, I should say, sorry. But yeah, they're looking very good right now. And they very much could take that second place in the race for promotion and make an instant return to the Premier League, which many people backed at the beginning of the season. Norwich City won, Blackburn Rovers won. Yeah, Norwich finally didn't win a game. It's the first time in 10 games I think they haven't won now, Norwich. Um, good result for Blackburn. Again, Blackburn are kind of that team in mid-table mediocrity as well. So, kind of surprised me this result, really. I thought Norwich would win this very comfortably. Wasn't the case. It's a good point, though, I'd probably say for Blackburn, to be honest. I mean, it doesn't really do much for their season, but hey-ho, it's a one-all draw in the end. As for Norwich, it's a temporary bump. They're definitely going to go up soon. There's no doubt about that. Um, Millwall won, Middlesbrough nil. This was kind of a game where both teams were in you know, the mix of a, of a mid-table clash. Um, good result for Millwall. Middlesbrough really looked good for the playoffs about January time, but they've really faded off second half of the season. Um, 
They've still got a chance, but I don't think they'll get there. As for Millwall, they've done well this season, Millwall. I mean, they've had too many draws, but I mean, after a disappointing start, I'd probably say, actually, I say they've done well this season. I mean, they've done well recently. The whole season hasn't been great, but um, recently they've certainly picked up. It was a known goal that gave them the win. Um, oh, a tough place to go, Millwall. Very, still, even without fans, tough place to go. 1-0 win was probably fair. It wasn't the best game, but hey, Millwall edged it, and that's what Millwall are all about, usually getting these kind of results. Uh, Barnsley won at Sheffield Wednesday too. Wow, what a result this is for Sheffield Wednesday. I mean, is it too little too late? Probably, to be honest. Um, I think they're giving themselves too much to do to stay up. But, um, you know, big result and it really dents their, I guess, kind of local rivals. Barnsley, in a way, kind of dents their ch chances as well, really, as of going up. Um, after the run Barnsley have been on, you really would have expected them to win this game quite comfortably. It's Darren Moore's first win as Sheffield Wednesday manager. It looks like he'll be managing in League One again next season, but you never know though. Wednesday have given themselves an outside chance, but they've got a pretty tough run between now and the end of the season, so I don't fancy them to, I don't fancy them to stay up, unfortunately, Wednesday. As much as it would be great for them, I just think Barnes I think it's but as for Barnsley as well, um, you know, you've got to think of them. They're not, you know, this is a bad result, but they're still on terrific form. And if they can bounce back in a big game after the international break against Reading, it will certainly be interesting. Reading won, QPR won. Speaking of Reading, they drew very disappointingly with QPR. QPR, another team very much in mid-table, limbo, not doing too much really. I think they're destined just to finish in mid-table, not going to go down, not going to go up. So, disappointing. QPR have very much improved since Charlie Austin's arrival in January. But yeah, a one-all draw, it was, a, it was a fair result really, but disappointing for Reading. And all of a sudden, their playoff place is looking really under threat. Been in the playoffs all season, but might not be lasting much longer. Um, and finally, Swansea City nil, Cardiff City won. You've got to love the Welsh derby and Cardiff City, Mick McCarthy's Cardiff City got the 1-0 win. What a job Mick McCarthy's done. I say it all the time, Mick McCarthy's done such a good job at Cardiff, but it can't be underestimated. He walked into a team who was struggling down there in the table, not in a relegation battle, but you know, just a, a hovering above, hovering a bit below mid-table and a bit above the relegation battle. Um, yeah, a 1-0 win for Cardiff. It was 2-0 Swansea earlier on in the season, but wow. What a result this is for Cardiff, a 1-0 win, they scored an early goal, they defended very well. Mick McCarthy's done a fantastic job. If Mick McCarthy gets some promoted, I, I think they might fall a little bit short of the playoffs this season, but hey, Mick McCarthy's done fantastic so far, but if he gets some promoted, wow, he could very much be up there for manager of the season as well. Fantastic stuff. And move on to game of the weekend. I've actually gone Barnsley 1, Sheffield Wednesday 2. There wasn't really many good games at the weekend, but this one was probably the best. And, of course, it's the result of the weekend as well. Who would have thought this at the start of the day? Everyone was thinking a comfortable Barnsley win. Wasn't the case. A Jordan Rose double did it for the Owls. What a result. And the top scorer is Ivan Tony on 28. He's got another penalty at the weekend. He's got a few penalties in his last few games, Tony. Scored against Forest with a penalty. It was fair, 28 goals. What a season Tony's having. If Brentford don't go up, I really fear if they'll keep hold of him or not. Moving on now to League One. And Saturday the 20th of March, we started with Portsmouth 2, Ipswich Town 1. First game in charge for the Cowleys, and it's a 2-1 win against a disappointing Ipswich Town side. Um, you know, I don't think it's going to be Ipswich's season to go up. Uh, obviously, Paul Lambert's been dismissed recently. You've got Paul Ward in charge. I, I, I think they've left themselves a bit too much to do, to be fair. Um, a 2-1 win, it's, it's a fair enough one for, um, you know, Portsmouth. They did enough, but yeah, not it's one of them really. Can they get the playoffs? I think they can. They're good managers under the Cowleys as well, so, well, manager, but yeah, we'll see. Sunderland won, Lincoln City won. Probably a better result for Lincoln, considering, obviously, the form Sunderland have been in, and obviously Lincoln have had a bit of a dip recently. 1-1 one, one was fair, though. Top, top end of a table game, this. But yeah, I think a draw was probably fair. Um, Accrington Stanley, 3. Wigan Athletic, 1. A good result for Accrington. Um, you know, did did well. Wigan, they're struggling right now. Could they go down? Well, obviously, they can go down. They're in the relegation zone right now. But um, they came from behind and missed one Stanley, but they, they deserved the win, really. It was a 3-1 win. And I don't think they'll get playoffs. Accrington, their form's been a little bit too hit and miss recently. But yeah. Good result for them and Wigan, though. They're in trouble. They could be playing League 2 football next season. AFC Wimbledon 2, Charlton Athletic 2. Um, yeah, entertaining draw. Nigel Atkins' is first game in charge for the Addicts. Um, good game. Um, you know, obviously Wimbledon are fighting for their lives down there, so they had to give it everything. They did. 
A two-all draw was probably fair, really. I mean, I'd say you know, Charlton, I don't think they're going to go up this season. I mean, there's so many defensive issues there and everything. Nigel Adkins is a safe pair of hands in League One. Interesting to see what he can do with them. As for Wimbledon, I mean, they've just got to keep fighting till the end, really, like they have done the last couple of seasons and hope they can stay up. Um, Fleetwood, uh, oh, sorry, Oxford United nil, Blackpool 2. Nearly missed a the game there. 2-0 uh, Blackpool. What a run of form they're on right now. Blackpool, they're doing very well, to be honest, and... The Tangerines are making a late push for promotion. They were tipped to do well at the start of the season. It never quite got going for them. But all of a sudden, they're back in form again. And fair play to them. A 2-0 win for them against Oxford as well. Oxford had a terrific run of form in the new year. But they're slowly starting to fade away as well as the season gets ever closer to coming to an end. Blackpool could sneak into that playoffs though. They're looking good right now. Fleetwood Town nil, Swindon Town 2. Massive result for the Robins this Again, Fleetwood under Simon Grayson, they're kind of going through that phase right now where they're mid-table, not really fighting for promotion or relegation. Lost Joey Barton, of course, earlier in the season, but um, I think Swindon have done what Swindon are, you know, they've got a chance though. John Sheridan, you know, they're giving it their all every week, Swindon. They've just lacked a little bit of quality at times, but this is a big win for them. See if they can capitalise on it, but yeah, great result. Um, Rochdale 3, Peterborough United 3, what a game. I mean... I often say Rochdale, of course, are the entertainers. It hasn't really been the case for the last few weeks, but they were back at their very best in terms of entertainment here. A 3 all draw with Peterborough. Man of the moment, Johnson Clark Harris scored a last-minute penalty to earn Peterborough a point. Could be a huge point. It's not a great result for them overall. Be their top of the table, Rochdale at bottom. So, I mean, you look at it like that. Well, near the top anyway. Um, you've got to say it's probably not the um, you know the best result, but still, they got a last-minute goal out of it. It's not a defeat, so it's better than nothing. Rochdale, you know, they're spinners' tail of their season, really. Goals, they get plenty of goals, but they just don't get... They just concede way too many as well. But, yeah, 3 old draw was probably fair. Plymouth Argyle 2, Bristol Rovers 0. Disappointed here with Brist uh, Bristol Rovers, to be fair. Under Joey Barton really should have gone for this game a bit more, but it was a comfortable 2-0 win for Plymouth, who, to be fair, have had a fantastic record this season at home park. So, doesn't really surprise me in that sense. But, yeah, 2-0 win, it was fair. Um, Gillingham 2, Doncaster Rovers 2. I mean, these, you know, two teams who played quite good football, of course. Doncaster have had to cope with the loss of Darren Moore as well. But um, a 2 all draw here. I mean, they actually came from 2 0 down in this game, Doncaster, and got the draw. But Gillingham have got an outside chance of the playoffs, and Doncaster are in the playoffs. So I can kind of see this. This was quite a big game, but a draw is probably a better result for Doncaster, considering they were 2 0 down. And it's, enough, it's avoided another defeat, and of course their form since Moore left hasn't been great, but I mean, it's, you know, it's probably a fair result in the end. Northampton Town nil, Crew Alexandra won. Um, quite a surprise, again, Northampton a team fighting for their lives right now, but, um, you know, just wasn't enough in the end in this one. A 1-0 defeat to Crew. Crew have had a good season, come up from League 2 last season, had a very solid one, mainly their home form that's been the best for them, but... A 1-0 one, a one win here. It's a good result for them. They did got there in the end. So, yeah, fair play. Shrewsbury Town 1, Hull City 1. I mean, it's a draw. It keeps Hull top of the table, so they won't complain. But Shrewsbury have done well against the better teams this season. That has been their, that's been their thing, really. They've got taken points off the teams at the top, surprisingly. A one all draw here. They've taken four points off Hull now, I believe. It might well be four anyway. Um, I think they got a 1-0 earlier in the season at the KCOM. Good result for them, really. I mean, again, for Hull in terms of finishing top, it's probably best they win. I still think Hull will go up, though. I really do fancy this Hull team to get promoted. But still, this is a little bit of a bump, I guess. But it's not a defeat, so it's better than nothing. Burton Albion 1, MK Dons 2. I mean, and the form MK Dons are in, they could even push for the playoffs. I don't think they will. But um, a good win here against the Burton team who've been in red-hot form recently. I mean, they've been fantastic since Hasselbank came in, but... Just fell apart from them a bit here. Um, you know, eight, seven matches unbeaten Burton were before this, actually. So a very good win for MK Dons. But I still think Burton will stay up. And you know, what a job Hasselbank's done, as I've said. But hey, MK Dons deserve the credit on this day as they got the win. Uh, game of the weekend, of course, Rochdale 3, Peterborough 3. Easy choice for game of the weekend, that. I mean, very entertaining. And yeah, just sums up Rochdale's season in a way. How entertaining some of their games have been. Result of the weekend, Fleetwood Town nil, Swindon Town 2. Um, yeah, Swindon deserved this one in my opinion. They um, they were the better team, and it's, it's what a result for their season as well. And if John Sheridan keeps them up, it will definitely be a successful season. And the top scorer is tied between Johnson Clark Harris and Charlie White, who are both on 22 goals. What a season they're both having! Very good. And now we move on to League Two, and all the games, of course, were on Saturday the 20th of March. And we start with Stevenage three, Carlisle United one. 
I mean, Carlisle, they went down to 10 men in this game, but um, Stevenage have been in great form anyway, really, so it won't surprise me if they won without the dismissal. But um, Stevenage have been a surprise team in League 2, really. I really thought they'd struggle this season, but it um, hasn't been the case. They've done well. They're on a good run at the moment, and a 3-1 win against Carlisle, again, being reduced 10 men obviously did, didn't help, but a good result for them nonetheless. Newport County nil, late Orient 1. Good result for Orient this. Um, obviously, you know, Newport are promotion hopefuls. Late Orient are not really that. They're kind of on the outskirts of it, but they've still got a chance. Uh, good result for them. I mean, it wasn't the best game, but hey, Newport, they've gone for a bit of a rough patch in form recently, bar a couple of wins here and there. So Late Orient will certainly take the result. Harrogate Town nil, Morecambe 1. I mean... Morecambe obviously are in the playoff places. They've done so well this season, Morecambe. So it's a good result for them. Harrogate, of course, they've enjoyed their ride in League Two. And if they're going to stay a League Two club next season as well. And, of course, have their fans there, hopefully, to witness it next campaign. But, this, you know, season's kind of seeing out for them now. They're not really going to get promoted or relegated. So I think they're kind of in mid-table right now. But, yeah, 1-0 winner for Morecambe. Probably needing it a bit more, to be fair. Bolton Wanderers 2, Warsaw 1. I mean, it wasn't as easy as what many assumed. Of course, Bolton have been in such good form recently. Many people thought they'd walk over Warsaw. They've been in terrible form. But no, 2-1 win. They did well enough. I mean, obviously, 10 wins in 12 games. I think it's for Bolton now. Fantastic. And they played play Forestry in a massive game at the weekend. But yeah, good result for them there. Bolton have just been brilliant. I don't, this turnaround under Owen, uh, Owen Doyle, Ian Everett, sorry. Owen Doyle's their striker. Ian Everett's been sensational. And yeah, another win here. Maybe not as easy as what people thought, but a win nonetheless. Um, Bradford City nil, Oldham Athletic nil. Disappointing nil nil here. I mean, not really a lot to say about it. Goalless draws, all, all, all I can really add to it, really. Not really a lot happened in, yeah, a fair goalless draw. And yeah, it's all to say. Cheltenham Town 2, Salford City nil. Um, of course, this did end the reign, I believe, of Salford City's manager, Richie Wellens, which I was very surprised at. I mean, Gary Neville, of course, did say about people becoming, you know, about sackings, and then he goes and sacks Wellens. Look, Wellens has just won Salford their first trophy. He's been a major trophy anyway. He's been there a few months. He deserved more time, in my opinion. And now they've got in Gary Bowyer. Yeah. There's only so long Salford can keep doing this. I mean, it works. I mean, say it works for Watford in a way, I guess. Um, you know, but Salford at this level in lead to you want stability. And that's certainly not what they've got right now. Yeah, you can't keep doing that. But as for Cheltenham, they are the best team in the league. And they got a comfortable 2-0 win. Um, Cambridge United won at Forest Green Rovers. Nil. What a result for Cambridge. Uh, very much needed. Houlihan's goal as well. This is the benefit of having Houlihan at this level. Someone who's played at the top, and, well, in the Premier League anyway. And yeah, uh, that's the benefit of having him at this level. Scored the winning goal. Big result for Cambridge, that one. And yeah, Colchester United nil, Port Vale won. I mean, Colchester are deeply struggling right now. They are in a relegation battle. I, I think they might just have enough, but their form is one win in 21 games now, or 20. Absolutely just not good enough. But yeah, it's fair enough. A 1 0 there. And Scunthorpe United won, Southend United won. I mean, Scunthorpe's got a last minute equaliser in this game near enough, so you can manage how damaging that was for them. Um, yeah, I mean, pfft, not what you want if you're Southend, you need the three points, and Scunthorpe aren't really playing for much either, so yeah, disappointing that. At Barrow 3, Crawley Town 2. I mean, the Barrow story goes on. I mean, they're having a good season right now. A stoppage time goal, a fourth straight win. They're having a time of it right now, Barrow. Fantastic stuff. Tranmere Rovers 2, Exeter City 1. Big game at the top, a big result for Tranmere, who just about did enough to get the win. Will Tranmere go up? I'm thinking it's obviously Adam Champions at the start of the season. It can still happen. It's so close up there in League 2 right now. The one bad result changes everything, one good result changes everything. So interesting, but yeah, they got there in the end. Uh, two two penalties scored in this game, actually. Um, Mansfield Town 2, Grimsby Town 2. Of course, Grimsby need three points desperately in every game now. Every game's cup final to Grimsby, but it's looking very unlikely. I do think relegation for them is only a matter of time. They didn't lose this one, but it was a two-all draw, and it, it wasn't the best, to be honest. So yeah, a two-all draw there. And of course, then we move on to game of the weekend, undoubtedly, Barrow 3, Crawley 2. Very good game, a last-minute goal. Yeah, easily game of the weekend, and what a result for Barrow. Result of the weekend, I've actually gone Cambridge 1, Forest Green 0 in terms of the season. A very good result. So yeah, I'm going to have to say that one is my is the best result of uh, best result of the weekend by far, really. And the top scorer is Paul Mullen, who has 24 goals. What a season he's having at Cambridge. 
brilliant. Yeah, nothing more to say other than he's having a great season, scoring plenty of goals as well. If, if they go up Cambridge, Idris see how Mullen copes in League One. But yeah, that is a wrap on the EFL reviews from March 20th, March 21st. Of course, I'll be back next weekend with EFL reviews as well. Get the video out sooner this time as well. Of course, I've had a lot of essays due recently, like I've mentioned on my last video. Don't want to make excuses, but that certainly has played a part. But yes, thank you very much for watching and listening, everyone. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you soon.